Hi, I'm Ben Platt. Hi, I'm Amanda Stenberg. And, and this, this is, is the Wired Autocomplete, Autocomplete Interview. interview. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Oh. Wow, I'm gone. I can't work like this, actually. What, Ben Platt? <laughs> <laughs> what did Ben Platt win a Tony for? I won a Tony for this musical called Dear Evan Hansen. I don't know if you've heard of it or if you've heard me talking about it in the last seven to six years. That's what I won my Tony for. And my whole family was there. It was very special. Mm. Dream come true. What is Ben Platt's phone number? That's gonna be a pass for me in terms of sharing <laughs> in terms of sharing my phone number. I will say that I posted a picture of my dog, of George, and it had my family's phone number on his collar just in case he oh, no. like ever ran away. And the story was up for like three minutes, and then my friend texted me and was like, "Do you realize that like you just gave your family's phone number <laughs> to the world?" And so I really freaked out. But thankfully, everybody online listened and stopped calling. So thank you. That's kind. Yeah. It's probably because you have like theater kids as fans, and they're pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. Until you try to change a musical that they love, and then they come for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what type of dog does Ben Platt? Have. <laughs> Drum roll. Have. <laughs> uh, I have a Labradoodle, and his name is George. So cute. Georgie Platt. I named him for George Surratt, which is a, a real-life artist, a pointillist artist, but also the main character of my favorite musical, Sunday in the Park with George. I have a big poster in my house of Sunday in the Park with George. I named him that, A, because it's my favorite musical, and B, because when he was a puppy, he had these little dots on his nose. Mm. And so... That's why he's George. But they're gone now, because he's a big boy. Mm -hmm. What song does Ben Platt sing in The Politician? Oh, season two. <laughs> that was the twist. The twist was season two. Well, in season one, I sang River by Joni Mitchell and a song from Assassins, which is a musical that Stephen Sondheim wrote. And I sang it with Zoe Deutsch. Hi, Zoe. Season two. Oh, season two, I sang Corner of the Sky from Pippin, which is another fave musical. And it was also my senior high school role in my... High School Musical, which was Pippin, and I played Pippin. So very full circle. And I got to sing my song Runaway from my first album, Sing To Me Instead, on The Politician as well, because it was free to use. <laughs> and um, and it's a good song. Thanks. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Maybe someday someone will let me sing for my second album, Reverie, which you can get now. Throw that thing the F out of here. How, Amanda Stenberg. How, Amanda Stenberg. How? Is Amanda Stenberg? I love that. That's one of the first questions. How is, people want to know how you are. Amanda Stenberg's uh, pretty great. Yeah. I would say, yeah. Living in New York City, mm. I have a home for the first time in many years Mazel after tov. bouncing around. I just came back from Copenhagen visiting my dad. Fab. I'm doing. I'm doing pretty good, guys. How nice is that to hear? How did Amanda Stenberg become an actress? How did I become an actress? I started acting when I was about three or four because I wanted to be in commercials. Pretty late and in the on game. On TV. Late in the game. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, the first movie role that I booked was when I was 11. Or no, eight, nine. Wait, I just jumped around so much. <laughs> I, was, I was nine. I was nine. And I played the younger version of Zoe Saldana as an assassin. <gasps> Ooh. Mm -hmm. Wow. So pretty cool from the get-go. <laughs> How old was Amanda Stenberg in the Hunger Games? I was 12. Wow. Mm -hmm. I remember you. I played Rue in the Hunger Games. <laughs> Duh. The baby Rue. Has anyone not seen the Hunger Games? <laughs> I was such a huge fan that I wouldn't leave the casting people alone because I heard they were making a movie. And so I think I would call like every single day. And then I got an audition. I remember for, I got a call back and the, the casting director, Deborah Zane, she really like was rooting for me. So I'm so f perpetually grateful uh, to her. Amazing. And she told me, okay, when you come back for the callback, make sure that you are dressed in character because she knew this would kind of like help me really prove to them like what I would be like in the world of the film. And so I fully dressed up. I think I had like a little cargo pants on and you know, the utilitarian vibe. Okay, you're going for and it. Going for it, <laughs> running it. And I remember rolling around in the backyard before I went, so I was covered in mud. 
And then when I arrived, it was at Gary Ross's house. And he had, like, all, like, cream suede furniture. Oh, no. And I remember just, like, shuffling through his living room, you know, like, with all the other actresses there and everything. And I think eventually I, like, grabbed a stool from outside and just, like, sat in the corner because I was really nervous. I was going to ruin his couch. But instead you booked it. But I got the job, baby. Because she went all in, you guys. Mm-hmm. Show up covered in dirt for your next audition. Exactly. Follow covered. your dreams. How tall is Amanda Stenberg? In feet. <laughs> in feet, to be specific. I guess that means like only Americans are curious about how tall I am. Yeah, nobody else cares. Right. Well, Americans, I'm five feet tall and <gasps> three inches, mm-hmm. which is a fourth of a foot. Is Ben Platt the astronaut on the mass Singer? No, sadly, I'm not the astronaut on the mass Singer, nor have I ever seen or been on the mass Singer, but no shade to the mass Singer. You should go on The Masked Singer. I think I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I like to sing with my face showing. If I were to go on The Masked Singer, I would probably just do it in drag. So. Yeah. Is Ben Platt the baby in Father of the Bride 2? Yes, yes. <laughs> Wait, you are? Well, I wasn't in actually in Father of the Bride 2, but we did a little Father of the Bride 3 like short film that Nancy Myers made during the pandemic. And Florence Pugh and I played uh, the baby's grown up. Right, right, right. So technically, yes, I am the baby in gotcha. Father of the Bride too. Nice. So, is Ben Platt on Cameo? I am not on Cameo, sadly. However, if you want to chill or meet, you can come to see my concert, and I can see you from the audience. Slash, you could also sign up to do a meet and greet, and we could meet that way. So, what the heck is Cameo? It's like a website where people can pay you to like make them video messages. Oh. Like I got Noah for for like I don't even know what the occasion was. Maybe his birthday. For uh, I got her Megan Stalter like talking what? to him in a costume via cameo. Hi Meg Stalter, you're the best. Oh my um, god. There's a lot of fun people on there. Wow. Is Ben Platt a Libra? I actually don't know your sign. I am a Libra. I'm just past the cusp, but I'm I'm a Libra. I'm very like. Very much the mediator, very much like middle of the road. I feel that. Even you. killed. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Libra Scorpio. Oh. I'm right on the cusp. Wait, when's your birthday? October 23rd. Mm. So I feel the Libra synergy between us. So do I. I'm definitely probably a little crazier than you. I'll let you have that. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas I'm more neurotic. <laughs> right. Is Ben Platt nice? No. <laughs> so mean. Really cruel. Look at this face. Such a mean, Arr. cruel face. <laughs> See? Amanda Stenberg, just in general. Yeah, what's up with Why was Amanda Stenberg named Amanda? Wow. I was named Amanda because Amanda, or how it's actually pronounced, Amantla. Um, Amantla. Amantla uh, means power in Ooh. Zulu and Hosa. <gasps> And during apartheid in South Africa, it was a very popular rallying cry, Amantla Awetu, which means power to the people. Amazing. And my mom was like, I'm going to give my baby a name that means something. I love it. Mm-hmm. You're the only Amantla that I know. Mm-hmm. Why is Amanda Stenberg a role model? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because Why am I a role she's model? unique, queer, talented, confident, gorgeous, Never before seen, unlike anything you've ever seen in your life. Whatever that lady got. Chew it up, is. put it in a blender, <laughs> spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> is Amanda Stenberg vegan? No. I love that that's like a question that people have. What you, Never in my life could I be vegan. You, you love meat. I, it's not even that I love meat. I don't, I don't have the maturity sure. in terms of my eating habits sure. to ensure I would be getting all the nutrients and vitamins that I would need if I was vegan. Absolutely. Absolutely. Also, I love burgers. <laughs> Amanda Stenberg, fun facts. Don't you just have like 10 fun facts about yourself ready to go at all times? <laughs> <laughs> fun fact, fun fact. When I was younger, I used to voice over people's voices in movies because I, like I was good at watching the ADR on the screen and figuring out the rhythm of how people were speaking and then replicating it. Do you know like, if, if I went back and like watched one of them where I would find your voice? Mm, why did I get married too? <sighs> Guys. <laughs> <laughs> but I always felt kind of bad because I was like, damn, some actress is going to go see the movie and it's going to be my voice. Well, if it's good ADR, they probably can't tell. 
But is that, does that they, also mean... I think the actor <laughs> could probably tell. Does that mean you could also win a lip sync for your life, you think? Yes. Okay, cool. It's actually my dream to lip sync for my life. Mine too. I'm Emma Stenberg, violin. Violin. Yes, I play the violin. What? Mm -hmm. I don't think I knew that. You didn't know that? That's sick. Yeah, I play the violin. I used to be a part of a folk band. Embarrassing. Oh, I, that I did know. And I still play the violin, but now I don't play folk music. I kind of play random, weird, I don't know, punkyish sort of stuff. So you're gonna play at the premiere? You're gonna do a performance? Never in my life would I do that. <laughs> <laughs> How high can Ben Platt sing? Wow. Do you know the note you can sing to? You must, right? Well, I don't know how high I can sing, like, period. I would say, like, in a chest voice, which means, like, full voice belted. On a great day, I can sing, like, a C or a C sharp. But on, like, a any given day, probably, like, B flat. So, Thank you. for anyone that cares to know that. Giving us go. that half step D2. Mm hmm. Where, oh. <laughs> wow. I'm gone. I can't work like this, actually. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, that was so bad. This is actually really painful cardboard. So sorry, I feel bad about it. The monster. edges are really sharp. <laughs> Where did Ben Black go to summer camp? Wow, I went to Camp Ramon, California, in Ojai, which is a Jewish summer camp. Which is basically like a regular summer camp, except like you wear kippahs, which is like the little Jewish hats, and you like do prayers sometimes. But the highlight of my camp experience was Color Wars, which is where the whole camp is divided into four teams of like 100 kids each. And then you fight in like sports competitions, but more importantly, in giant cheers and skits. <laughs> and so when I was the captain That's of the red the team, priority. we had gorgeous productions for every one of our cheers, and we did win. So. Why did Ben Platt leave Dear Evan Hansen? Well, I had been working on the show for like three, four years. I did the, all the readings, all the workshops. I did the Washington DC production, the off-Broadway second stage production, and then I did the Broadway production for a year. And it was wonderful, fulfilling, beautiful experience, but very taxing physically, emotionally, mentally, all that stuff. And just not super sustainable to continue to do eight times a week longer than that. So I really wanted to leave while I still was standing and was still being uh, be able to give a, a full performance and before I, you know, weared myself out too hard. But then I got to come back and do the movie. Very lucky. Yes, you did. Can I lean on you, Ben Platt? Yeah. You can. Anytime. Sometimes in your night, we all have to lean. <laughs> okay. How far are we going with it? <laughs> The most important card of all. Dear Evan Hansen. Dear Evan Hansen. We've been way too out of touch. Okay. <laughs> Is Dear Evan Hansen a musical? What do you think? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hardcore. A lot of songs. Great songs. Pascal and Paul songs. And one Pascal and Paul Stenberg song. Is Dear Evan Hansen fiction or nonfiction? I feel like there are many nonfiction elements of it. Totally. There's a lot of... But yes, there's a fictional story. It is. It is totally fictional in terms of the story, but inspired by... A lot of contemporary truths mm -hmm. that are nonfiction, but fiction. There's no Evan Hansen, except for the character. <laughs> who wrote Dear Evan Hansen music? Pask and Paul wrote it. Brilliant songwriters who also wrote the musical Dogfight, the songs in La La Land, Greatest Showman, and then there's one new song that Amanda wrote with them. <laughs> You've had to stop liking this. It's so cool! <laughs> it's cool! Thank you. What is the message of Dear Evan Hansen? There's a lot of messages. Well, I think there's different messages for, for different people. What's your fave message? My fave message is that contending with mental health is a universal experience and something that so many more of us than you would maybe assume are dealing with and going through. And it's okay to not be okay. You have value as a human being regardless of if you're at a high high or at a low low and you are deserving of love. That's beautiful. And I agree. What did the Dear Evan Hansen letter say? Well, there's several letters throughout the film. Right. But the kind of hero letter is, Dear Evan Hansen, today's gonna be a good day and here's why. Because all you have to do is just be yourself. And usually it ends with Sincerely Me, which is also the name of one of the songs mm -hmm. in the movie. 
I feel like I learned a lot about you. I learned what amantla means. Mm -hmm. I learned that you play violin. I learned that you were the baby in... Oh, uh, Father of the Bride. And Father mm -hmm. of the Bride. Oh, no, but you did that with Florence Pugh. Mm -hmm. Gotta check that out. Uh -huh. uh, I think I actually <laughs> knew a lot of other stuff about you. Thanks Thank you so, so much, much Wired. wired. <laughs>